गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स लेट स्टार्ट विद अ जियोमेट्रिकल प्रॉब्लम फर्स्ट ओके द प्रॉब्लम सेज देर इज ए स्क्वेयर ऑफ आर्म लेंथ टेन एंड ए हाफ सर्कल बिंग ड्रॉन टेकिंग वन आर्म ऑफ द स्क्वायर दिस इज टेन लेट से दिस इज ए बी सी एंड डी देर इज अ टेंजेंट बिंग ड्रॉन फ्रॉम द बी टू द हाफ सर्कल which is touching at point p the center of the half circle to the p is being drawn this obviously be a 90 degree then p further being connected to c and now we have to calculate the area of a shaded part so uh, to start with if i connect this center to the point b okay this will Uh, divide this total angle into half because a tangent drawn from the outside uh, to the circle will be of equal length as per the theorem and if it is connected to the center of the circle it divides the uh, angle in equal parts so uh, this i uh, assume is theta so this also will be to be theta okay let uh, name the points cut points so this i name as o and i draw a perpendicular to this uh, let's say it is touching at let's say at q why i am uh, this why i am drawing this line because the area of the triangle i will get with the half into base base means pc and the vertical bq so if i can find all this values i can get easily now let's say i take the sin of this sin of this angle sin theta so it will give uh, sin means vertical this is half of the diameter is 5 and the hypotenuse hypotenuse is nothing but this square plus this square so this will give you 5 square plus 10 square so this will give you 5 upon 5 will come out and root 5 so 5 will cancel out 1 by root 5 so i will uh, i can find cos theta is equal to 2 by root 5 this will be useful uh, for further calculation so up to this if i write the value of this in a smaller place i will get some space to write further so sin theta i get 1 by root 5 and cos theta is equal to 2 by root 5 now uh, see this angle this angle is means angle p b and c is nothing but if it is a square so that means total angle is 90 so deducting 2 theta from 90 it will become 290 minus 2 theta so if i take the half of this half of this means p b sorry p b and q if i take this will become 45 minus theta now i am taking sin of this angle let's see what it will give uh, what will it give uh, 9 uh, sin 45 minus theta as per formula it uh, it is is equal to sin 45 cos theta minus cos 45 sin theta okay so if i put the value sin 45 is nothing but 1 by root 2 cos uh, theta already i have got here it is 2 upon root 5 minus cos 45 is also 1 by root 5 and sin theta i have got 1 by root 5 so uh, sorry 1 by root 2 sin cos 45 so if i calculate it it becomes 2 by root 10 1 by root 10 means 1 by root 10 so this also i keeps in some places for further calculation so what i got sin 45 minus theta it gives you 1 upon root 10 now come to this uh, triangle so the formula of uh, this area area is equal to half into if i take it 2t so 2t i am taking and multiplied by bq bq if is nothing but b 
क्यू इज नथिंग बट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ दिस माइनस दिस पार्ट ओनली सो इट विल इट विल बी रूट स्क्वायर रूट ऑफ टेन स्क्वायर बिकॉज दिस इज टेन माइनस दिस पार्ट इज हाफ ऑफ टू टी दैट मीन्स टी स्क्वायर सो इफ आई फर्दर रिड्यूस इट वुड बिकम टी माइनस टेन स्क्वायर माइनस टी स्क्वायर सो दिस इज द फाइन नाउ हाउ डू आई फाइंड टी इफ आई टेक द साइन ऑफ दिस मीन्स साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव माइनस थीटा इट इज इक्वल टू फ्रॉम द प्रॉपर्टी इट इज नथिंग बट हाइट मीन्स टी अपॉन दिस टेन ओके सो टी इज नथिंग बट टेन इंटू साइन ऑफ फोर्टी फाइव माइनस थीटा which is equal to 10 into sin 45 minus theta i have already calculated that is 1 upon 10 so this will give you root 10 so t i t i find t is equal to root 10 so i rub it so what i find t is equal to root 10 now i if i put the value it is root 10 and under square it is 10 square minus t square it will give you 10 so root 10 Into 9t. 9t is nothing but root 10, and 9 will come out as 3 into root 10. So here I find the area is root 10 into root 10. It is equal gives you 10. So 10 into 3 that gives you 30. So area of the triangle would be 30 centimeter square as because the unit is given in centimeter. So here come is your result. Okay. so going to the next sum yeah this says if root x plus y is equal to 7 and and root y Plus x plus x is equal to eleven. So, what will be the? So you cannot see it properly. So the second equation says root y plus x equal to eleven. So to solve it, what I do? I take x is equal to your a square and y is equal to b square so if i replace here in this equation it becomes a from the first equation a plus b square equal to 7 and the next equation becomes y means b square that means it will give b plus a square is equal to 11 now replacing any of this value if i say if i if i want to put a value from here so in the second equation so b become b and a become uh, 7 minus b square whole square equal to 11 now expand the equation uh, further on the top expand the equation further on the top it gives b plus 49 minus 14 b square plus b to the power 4 will be 11. Taking everything on the one side, so it will give b to the power 4 uh, minus uh, 14 b square and uh, then plus b and 11. If I deduct it from here, it will give 38 is equal to 0. Now here come the tricky part of that how do you able to factorize that so it comes uh, with uh, more practices but for this uh, sum uh, definitely there is a clue if i see this part 38 it can only be factorized into two part 19 into 2 so if i try with uh, 19 if let's say uh, one of the root is 19 it will be a lengthy equation rather if i try to first with as a root so i can 
I can uh, uh, put it like that B, B to the 4 the next uh, 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 component means a higher uh, uh, component when a B cube is not there so I, I have to adjust it like that I will bring 2 B cube then I will again uh, as it is comes as minus B cube I will add 2 B cube so that it will nullify the equation and it will not change anything uh, for the equation. So, it will be remain as it is. So, then further uh, as it is B minus 2 I have to, uh, I have to uh, bring something so that I will get the same B minus 2 from here. So, the next uh, exponential is B square. So, that will be like that B square if I bring. So, it, it will give you uh, B minus 2 if I take the common of 2 B square. So, similarly, I have to adjust the remaining one as it, because the total B square is 14. So, here I have already taken minus 4. So, the remaining is 10 B square and likewise I have to add 20 B to adjust B minus 2 and as because the equation gives only, only B. So, remaining 19 I have to deduct so that the equation does not change its uh, total value. So, now the remaining 38 will be as it is and it will become 0. Now, if I take B q from this first one, so it will become B minus 2 and from the next if I take 2 B square, it will become B minus 2 from next I will take 10 B, it will give B minus 2 and similarly from the last part if I take minus 19, it will give B minus 2 as a component. So, this will become 0. From all this, if I take B minus 2 as a common and the remaining will be B cube plus 2 B square minus 10 B minus 19 equal to 0. Okay. So, if 2 product, the value of 2 product become 0, then either of this can be 0 or both can be 0. So, if I take uh, first part is equal to 0, let us say b minus 2, if I take b minus 2 is equal to 0, from there I will get b is equal to 2. I have taken root y is equal to uh, b. So, y will become 4. This is the one part if I take b's and accordingly I will get x is equal to how much uh, because the equation says that root x plus y is equal to the first equation, equation was root x plus y equal to 7 as I have already calculated y. So, root x will become 3 then x is equal to 9. So, this is one set of value. If I take the other part as 0 that means b cube plus 2 b square minus 10 b minus 19 equal to 0 whether it will satisfy any value for that. So, from there if I want to um, calculate uh, what could be the b value. So, uh, as per the cubic equation, uh, if I uh, go further in the elaborated method, that can be solved. But as you know, if I compare with the standard cubic equation, then this part will be equal to a plus b plus c equal to your uh, minus 2, because a, here a, b, c are the roots of b. Okay, and your this part will become equal to a b plus b c plus c a that will give you minus 10 and this part is a b c equal to 19. Now, if I concentrate this part only this is a product of 3, uh, uh, three individual uh, uh, integers. So, this will give 19. So, there may not cannot be possible to bring something with multiplication of 3 integers 
uh, uh, to 19. So, 19 only have one uh, factors 19 itself and one. So, there um, cannot be three numbers which will uh, uh, give you this result 19. So, this uh, part equal to 0 will not will not give you any rational number. So, we can uh, you can avoid this part uh, equals to 0 only the part that will be 0 is equal to b minus 2 and accordingly you find the value of x and y x is equal to 9 and y is equal to 4. So, uh, that is for today and you can practice it ho at home just revise it see how I have solved it it will be better uh, clear idea upon that. Thank you for now. Good night.